so today we will discuss about the fetch xml okay so basically the retrieving the data is two types of queries is available so the first one is the query expression and the second one is the fetch xml okay and also we can uh, also we can be known as the fetch expression okay so the fetch expression it will execute the fetch xml query okay so the fetch xml query generation okay so go to the advanced find so preparing the fetch xml the first thing is preparing the fetch xml so you go to the here advanced find okay select the entity whatever the entity you want and select the like a this one query and all okay filtering conditions so some xx okay see the result okay so your query is executing so go to the advanced find and here we can see the download the fetch xml okay so once you click on that you can able to download it okay so this time saving okay so i am opening so here okay so just i will open in a okay so this one i will open with the notepad okay so here you can see the fetch expression so this is a fetch xml so it, it will give us okay once you download the we can prepare the query in advanced file and there we can see the download the fetch xml okay so here this it is a xml file okay so this fetch expression sorry this fetch xml it will starts with the fetch is the tag it will start with the fetch so here version is 1.0 and output format and it is a logical and here is a result is a distinct you want the like a distinct result or we can pass the flag here true or false and next which entity you want to retrieve so so here it is giving and attribute names what are the attributes you want to retrieve through this query okay it will gives that the all the names it will gives to you okay and here the condition is the ordering so it is in ascending order or descending order we can we can pass it here and here the condition the filtering like a condition based filtering so in query expression we will add the query dot criteria okay similarly here we will add it okay so this is a fetch xml you, you can download generally usually from advanced find okay so no need to worry about this one okay so copy this one fetch xml okay and go to the visual studio wherever you want okay okay so this query expression i am commenting now so whatever we are using this one in the query expression so just i am commenting out okay so take this string okay string fetch okay so fetch xml 
equal to in double quotation you can copy your fetch xml so here we have to put the at the rate symbol string concatenation and wherever this inside one okay so double quotations so simply you can place it sorry with the single quotations okay so okay so just i'm replacing with double quotations with the single quotation So here control H. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, control H. Yeah. So control H is the uh, it's normal thing, right? So okay. So here this string I'm uh, ending here. So this our now our fetch XML is ready. Okay. So here generally this value. So this value or some value we can retrieve it here. Okay. So like we can pass the value dynamically. Okay. Instead of hard coding the value the uh, the condition values it will be dynamically. Okay. So next this thing. So you want to execute this service. Okay. So we have to use the service, okay, dot retrieve multiple, okay. So inside that here we have to use the new fetch expression, okay. So new fetch expression of we have to pass this fetch XML string to new fetch expression. Okay, so again it will give it will use the entity collection. So it is an entity collection. Okay, so similarly we can we have we can execute this thing. Okay. So this is a fetch XML writing. Okay, simply we can download from there and we can pass the va values dynamically. What are the values you want? So similarly we can retrieve this thing. Okay, so this is a fetch XML. Okay, so through the fetch XML we can able to execute the R and all the conditions. Okay, so what are the complex queries we have? So at the time we will go for the fetch XML only. So because the query expression it won't support the logical R. Okay. Logical R operation it won't support. Okay. So and the multiple linked entities. So it won't support by the uh, query expression. Okay. So it, it will support but we have to it is a bit complex. So that is the reason we will go with the this one. Okay. So this is a simple query expression. So now I build and if I deploy it, it will give the result. Okay. So linked entities. How we can give the linked entities in a fetch XML? So it is similar to this same. Okay. So here this in advanced find. Okay. So go to the here. Select the relation relation entity. Okay. So relation entity is account. Sorry. So I am selecting the contact. Okay. So here contact fields if you are and contact entity if you want to the fill put the filter or something. Okay. So like a address one or account or something. Okay. So 
like the address one contains okay india okay so like that we can filter it okay so if you go to the here download the fetch xml okay so if i open this one okay so it is coming like this this fetch xml okay so here we can see the linked entity okay so like that on inside of this linked entity okay so just i'm opening So if I uh, just am copying to Visual Studio. Okay. So similar way we, here we can see the entity. So here this is a parent and child. So this is a linked entity, okay, in a fetch XML, okay. So if I want to put this on another linked entity inside that, okay. So here inside in this query, linked entity here. So again, if I we can write it the similar way. Okay, so linked entity, okay. So we can pass the here this one same thing. So similar way we can write it. Okay. So one in linked entity is contain a multiple linked entities. So like it is a parent and child. Okay. So for example, if you go to the advanced point. Okay. So to the contact again, contact is having a. So there is no related entities for the contact. So that is the reason it is not showing. So if you have anything, we can put it there like that. Okay. So that is a fetch XML and execution. Okay. So the most of the times we will use this fetch XML in a CRM online. When you are, if you want to generate some reports and all. So we will use this fetch XML. Okay. So if you in the normal coding in a website in the normal procedure, so wherever you, you want the complex queries, so at the time you will go with the fetch expressions.